Good morning, this is Prophet Tina, and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. We're continuing on our Daniel fast, and we're in the fourth day of our 31-day fast. So praise God. Thank you so much for joining us, and just want to let you know that our devotion, uh, meditation, scripture today is Psalm 70. So bless the Lord. We're going to be going, uh, we're going to be reading Psalm 70. Praise God, as well as sharing some other information with you regarding our Daniel's fast. We're in day four, and I'm going to tell you it's been really, really exciting to see all the things that God has done. Now, if you're in this fast with us, uh, this is wonderful because we're in the fourth day. Now, by the third day, you should have um, had some kind of a manifestation of a blessing already. Praise God. I know that Jonathan and I have been experiencing just a wonderful, wonderful anointing and grace of the presence of God. And so we know that this is going to happen for you as well. God promises, praise God, hallelujah, his promises are yea and amen. And he has never failed us when it's time to fast. He has never failed us, praise God. And so we know and we believe that this is a God-led fast Praise God, not just for us, but for you as well. And we want to encourage you uh, in this time. And people are busy. They have busy lives, you know, even, even believers. I mean, we're all busy every day. We have a lot of things that we have to get done to complete the day. But God wants you to take some time aside out of the year, this one month of October, and join us in a fast. God has called a fast. He sanctified a fast a solemn fast, praise God, that he's called us into to uh, bless us so that we can receive more of his glory. Hallelujah. And I'm really excited about that. And so we have some callers on the line, praise God. And who's with us already this morning on the line that would want to share with us that they're with us? Praise God. Anybody there? Praise the Lord. Who's that? Johnny McLean. Oh, Pastor Johnny, thank you so much for being with yeah. us this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so, man of God, we are going to be calling on you uh, to pray with us, to pray for us this morning. We're in the fourth day of this fast, and I know that you have... Uh, jumped on this fast too as far as your members the members of your church is concerned or are concerned and you've called a fast for this week for your uh your members as well and so good morning pastor johnny how are you today praise the lord we're fine awesome <laughs> so what do you what good do you what tell us something good this morning uh, pastor johnny Trifina. good morning trifina thank you so much for joining us good morning Praise God. So we're live on Facebook as well, and we have a prayer call line uh, if you'd like to participate. Uh, that number is 712-432-1500, and the code is 617-481, 617-481. So Pastor Johnny, praise God. God bless you. Is the First Lady with you this morning as well? I said, is First Lady with you this morning as well? <laughs> no, she's not. She's out, she's out in the yard, up in the gardeners. Oh, awesome. You mean you guys pay gardeners and then your wife goes out there to help them? Oh, she must be giving them directions on what to do, right? Wow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I tell you, it's something wonderful to feel the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. 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 Praise God.
Thank you for your presence, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> with this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. God is doing something new, believers. God is doing something brand new in the realm, the glory realm. I've been praying for your son here in Phoenix. Yes. I have a son here in Phoenix. Yes. I've been praying. Something is happening inside of that boy. Oh, praise God. Something is happening inside of that boy. Praise God. He's restless. He's restless. He's restless. He's restless. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you, God. God. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Uh, we're going to all of our children in the name of Jesus. Okay. All our children. All our children. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Okay. Yes. Praise God. So if you haven't made your list, you don't want to forget any of your children or your grandchildren or your great-grandchildren. And you should have a list with their names on it or something that signifies who they are. Praise God. But especially with their names, starting with the oldest person in your generation. And if that's you, you start with you. And then you put all the names by age of all of your children. And then by age of all of their children. And then by age of all of their children. And you have your list that God has called you to pray for. Now, I know you are praying women. I know we are praying men and women. Praise God. And so God has called us to pray for our bloodline. And it's, it's for today. It's for the blessing and for the anointing of the day for today. But God is calling you to pray in. This is a foundation that God is making, to the, an eternal foundation of his glory in your bloodline. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's called, causing your children, those that you are praying for, to build up the waste places in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You are setting in order a foundation like no other foundation that can be made. It is the foundation of God's glory passing down on through your generation throughout eternity. That's what you're establishing with this fast. God said he's called this fast for it's a personal fast. And if you read in Isaiah 58, verse 6, he's talking about 
those that be of you will build, will, um, build up the waste places. Hallelujah. And you're establishing a foundation in your bloodline for eternity. Hallelujah. So what you're doing today has eternal weight upon it eternal weight as we go through time hallelujah and as you know in eternity there is no time hallelujah but it's placing an eternal weight on uh the call of god for right now today too so this this blessing that god is giving us through this fast is a multi-dimensional blessing it is for today it is for tomorrow it is for forever hallelujah god is establishing a foundation of his truth of his love and of his life in the hearts uh, of your bloodline is flowing through you hallelujah right now today i don't know who came before you and who prayed for you to get here probably your grandmama you know and your mama prayed for you to be here uh, in God right now today, but you must continue the anointing in your grace. God is doing something special in this time and in this dispensation for your bloodline. Hallelujah. Right now, in the name of Jesus, as Pastor Johnny called it out, we are praying for our bloodline today based on Isaiah uh, 58. Let's go to Isaiah 58. Hallelujah. Praise God. And is that the chapter where where fasting is talked about. Hallelujah. Is not this the fast that I've chosen for you, he says here, to loose the bands of wickedness and to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that you bring the poor that are cast out into thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him and that thy hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Now that hiding not yourself from your own flesh means don't hide yourself from the sin that's in your life. You know, who are you hiding from? God sees it all and he knows it all. And the only person that is hidden from is you. But it's really a lie. It's fake and it's false because you're sweeping that junk under the rug. Okay, just hiding it from your eye view. But it hasn't disappeared. It hasn't gone. The fast that God has chosen for you is to come out to confess your sin one to another and let God dis let God destroy, let God destroy uh, the enemy's power in your life. You see, Jesus already provided that for you. Sin hath no more dominion over you. But when you sneak around and hide around, okay, and think nobody sees it and think nobody knows it, God knows it. And that's what this is what the fast is for is to bring you to the place where you understand, hallelujah, that you have been delivered, you have been saved, you have been have made right, and grace abounds. Hallelujah. So we rebuke every spirit of fear, every spirit of shame, and every spirit of condemnation that has come against you. Don't stop hiding from your own flesh and from your own sin. Stop, you know, making excuses for yourself in the sin that you're in and the stuff that you're doing that you know is not right. You already know it's not right. You already know it's not right, but you keep making excuses for yourself, okay? And I rebuke every excuse that you've making, that you've made, and that I'm praying and believing God, you're gonna turn towards him in this fast and let the power of God destroy uh, those ungodly appetites in you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Austin, for joining us. Praise God, hallelujah. Now. Uh, it says here in the Lord, uh, hallelujah, when you then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thine health shall spring forth speedily. Praise God. Do you see what he's saying here? You need to not hide yourself from your own flesh. And when you do that, then you're going to get see some more light. Your light is going to break forth as the morning and your health will spring back to you. What hidden junk you got on the inside of you? Only hidden to you. To, you know, it's not really hidden. God reveals it to whoever he wants to reveal it to. And God knows what's there. Praise God. If you got junk on the inside of you that you know that's there and you're not dealing with it, how can your light spring forth speedily? Okay? And thine health spring forth speedily, rather. God wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. But what's that junk on the inside of you that you keep patting down, okay? You keep patting it down, patting it down, okay? God said, let it go. Jesus already delivered you from it. The glory of the Lord shall be thy rear guard, okay? You're worried about your back. You're worried about um, what folks are doing uh, to you, what they're saying about you, what's going to happen, you know? Uh, you always talk about people, back the backstabbers. Guess what? It says right here, when you fast and when you pray, 
and you seek God and you do it right, the Holy Ghost is going to be your rear guard. The Holy Ghost got your back. Hallelujah. He got your back. And nothing can in any wise hurt you and harm you. Just let it all out. Vomit up that junk that's on the inside of you uh, that you're dealing with. Hallelujah. Praise God. That you Sometimes you don't even have any control over it because you have now gone into uh, bondage with this stuff. God wants to deliver you from every bondage. He wants to break every yoke. Okay? He wants to come against every oppression that's coming against you. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy your soul and draw it. And make fat your bones. Listen to that. God is going to strengthen your bones. He's going to put strength in those bones, in those hip bones, in those knee bones. Okay? <laughs> Praise God. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. And like, it says here, a spring of water whose waters fail not. Now listen to this. This is... Isaiah 58, verse 12. This is the promise of God in the Old Testament. He continues it in the New Testament that if you're saved, your whole household shall be saved. It goes beyond your household to the household of your household of your household of your household. It goes on for eternity. You're building a foundation for your eternal bloodline at this time. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. And thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach and the restorer of paths to dwell in. God is going to use your bloodline to build up his waste places. Hallelujah. And the foundations that you're building right now in God is for many generations. Hallelujah. Your bloodline. Hallelujah. What you are establishing right here now in prayer will be called the repairer of the breach the restorer of paths to dwell in. Now, isn't that who Christ is? Christ is ever at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us, standing in the gap for us. He became sin for us, hallelujah, when he knew no sin. He sacrificed himself for us. He was the repairer of our breaches. Hallelujah, he was the restorer of paths to dwell in. Guess what? Christ in you is going to cause that foundation to go forth throughout your entire generations right now, what you're praying. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we are praying for our generations today. Okay. We are praying for those that are alive today. Hallelujah. Our sons and our daughters and our grandchildren. Right now, that's your responsibility. That's the responsibility that God has given you. Hallelujah. And this is why the fast is called. Not just for today, although what he's going to do in today with his glory today is absolutely marvelous, darling. It's marvelous to see the hand of the Lord, to see how he's working in this day and in this time. And as we go on in time, the power of God is even turned up hotter. The fire of the Lord goes hotter and hotter with every generation. You've seen it already in your generations. You know, you have one gift and then your grandchildren or your great grandchildren or even your kids will get that same gift, but that gift will be way better than the one you had. Okay. Praise God. Every generation get, gets better. As you can see, even generations get taller. Most children are taller than their grandparents and their, and their parents. Okay. That goes with what God is doing. That's a sign to you that every generation should be getting better and better, closer and closer to God. Hallelujah. More of his glory poured out. The glory that God is pouring out now, praise God, is not unlike any glory that has ever been on earth before. And he wants you to be ready to receive it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Based on anything that I've said right now, does anyone want to share anything? Praise God. That's on the phone line. I want you to be involved in this uh, call today. Praise God. I want to. I want you uh, to allow God to use you, not only to bless yourself, but to bless others. Before we get into the prayer, okay, we have Mother Carolyn Williams. We have Trifene Haley. I hope Betty uh, Pierce is on. Maybe Jeremiah is on as well. And we already heard from uh, Pastor and Apostle Johnny McLean. Now, who else would like to share something? Praise God. Uh, this is Betty Pierce. Hi, Betty Pierce. Uh -huh. And Betty, hey, uh, Evie, wait a minute, Betty, before you go on, I want everybody to sing happy birthday to Betty. She just turned 88 this week. Uh, <laughs> happy birthday to you. Everybody sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Betty. May the dear Lord continually bless you. <laughs> she was 88. Do you hear me? 88. Do you know what that is? 88. The number of eight means new beginnings. Okay? 
and she's got the double you, new beginning. So, Betty, praise God. God got something powerful you like you've way. never seen before in this year. This is your double anointed new beginning year. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. And we thank God for you that he blessed you to see 88 years strong. Yeah, 88 yeah. years strong and powerful. Hallelujah. And we have Austin Andrea or Andrea Austin uh, saying happy birthday to you on Facebook, Betty. Hallelujah. Thank Praise God. Lord. Go ahead, Miss Betty. Go God, ahead. God bless you, and I just want to thank you, but I, I, I've, been, I've been interceding for, for my grandchildren. Absolutely. I need prayer for my grandchildren. Yes. Especially my my grandson, one of my grandsons, he, he, he just out there in the wind. His name Darius. Uh -huh. I got five, I think five, but he, he's the one that's really out there. He's not a bad grandson, but he just, oh Lord, he just, he just, he just, he just, he just, he just out there in the world. He just, grandmama, grandmama, I, I come by to see, and, and he just so fitted it, he just need to be calmed down and mm -hmm. get himself straightened out. Mm -hmm. He's not a bad son, okay. not a bad grandson, but he need prayer. All right, we're going to be praying today. That's and, Darius. And all of my grandchildren need prayer. My grandchildren need prayer okay. because some of them, they, they not in, in, they know Jesus Christ, but they just, some of them just want to do that thing, if you know what I'm talking about. Well, Betty, we're going to so, pray. I'm going to see it for my grandchildren. Amen. We're going to pray a prayer today, and we're going to send the angels of salvation to, salvation to every one of our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren that are not saved. And we're even going to begin to pray for our unborn grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren. Yes, that God will continually establish this foundation of his glory in our bloodline. Okay? Praise God. Anybody else want to share? Anybody else? Okay. I, I want to hear from, and I'm going to call on Mother Carolyn Williams. Good morning, Mother Williams. Good morning. <laughs> Praise God. I know we got you up out of bed today, but I just want you to share a little bit or, you know, give us your prayer request for your children. But before you do, why don't you just share in the glory that God has given you? Give us a little bit of a testimony, okay? Well, I just thank and praise the Lord for saving me for such a time as this. Amen. I know that God wants to continue. Well, he has already blessed us. And yes. what we're wanting to see is the manifestation of yes. those blessings. Yes. And all we have to do is just wait on the Lord and believe. Amen. Amen. Trust. Keep looking toward him. For he is our help. Amen. And we love and appreciate all the wonderful things that he's doing. Amen. And I have to thank him for all that he's done in my life. I was diagnosed with my senior gravity mm -hmm. in 2004, and for years they, I was going from doctor to doctor trying to find out what was wrong, and uh, I uh, went to doctors and they couldn't find anything, and I uh, went into the hospital because they wanted to do a heart catheterization. And I have been on life support seven times, six to seven times. Mm -hmm. And I can thank the Lord uh, since I've been here mm -hmm. in Phoenix. Praise when God. I first got here, I was in and out of the hospital. And to this day, I have not been in the hospital for at least six years. Praise God. God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, we got some praying folks on the on the line today. Hallelujah. And uh, praise God. We are going to pray right now for our bloodlines. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank you for that word, uh, Pastor Johnny. And we're going to ask you to start us off in prayer today. I am going to read Psalm 70. And then after Psalm 70, I'm going to ask you to pray 
Uh, we have specific prayer requests for Darius and Betty's uh, grandchildren. You mentioned my son, Kyle. Hallelujah. But remember your list, your prayer list, and keep it in your notebook, all the names. And you can even put pictures next to the names of your children. You know, and sometimes you may not have time to sit down for a whole hour and pray, but you can open up your book. There are their names and their pictures, and you lay hands, you know, on that picture. I have a picture of my family from my family reunion, and all of them are on the picture. So I don't need an individual picture for, uh, for each one of them. I lay my hands on that family reunion picture, praise God, because that is my bloodline on in that family reunion. And I want the glory of God to continue on that bloodline, on the bloodline, <laughs> the responsibility that he's given us, hallelujah, as believers. This is one of our responsibilities is to pray and to pray without ceasing, as Jesus said, hallelujah. Man ought always to pray. And prayer is appropriate in every situation. In every situation, prayer is appropriate. So Betty, I'm going to encourage you, hallelujah, to continue praying for that grandson. Never mind what he says and what he does. Every time you see him acting out or whatever, fidgety, whatever he's doing, you rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You send the angels to minister to him. Praise God and just keep him before the Lord that way. Every time your children come to mind, even after you've prayed, during the day if they come to mind, you pray for them. You cover them in the blood of Jesus and you draw a bloodline around them. And if they're not saved yet, you send the angels of salvation to them and, 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 and ask, tell God and remember to remember the word that he gave you, that your whole household would be saved. Now, he has initiated this, this fast now. Hallelujah. I wasn't even thinking so much about, uh, you know, bloodline for eternity, but God gave me that revelation. This is an eternal prayer uh, that you're doing, an eternal foundation that you're setting uh, in your family members. Hallelujah. And God has assigned you to do it. Guess what? And what he reveals, he heals. If, he, if, he, if he's given us this assignment, guess what? He plans... <laughs> to save our bloodline. It's in the plan already. Hallelujah. He plans to use our bloodline for his glory. Hallelujah. In this generation and all the generations to come. Hallelujah. And you're establishing that foundation right now. So pray uh, and, and don't, let, don't let these, you know, these spirits on these kids, you know, get you upset because you got something for them. And what you got for them is Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, and the God, the Father, okay? You know you are packing for them. No matter how they get up in your face, no matter what they say, hallelujah, no matter what they're believing in right now, you got something for them because God gave it to you to give to them, okay? It's from God. Psalm 70. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me and my bloodline, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after our souls. Let them be turned back for a reward and put to confusion that desire our hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, aha, aha. And let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Let God be magnified over our bloodline. Let God be magnified over our children. Let God be magnified over our great grandchildren and our grandchildren and our generations to come. God be magnified over all, hallelujah. But they are poor and needy. Make haste to help them, O God. Thou art my help and you are their help and you are my deliverer and you are their deliverer oh god make no tarrying hallelujah today is the day lord hallelujah that you have assigned hallelujah for our bloodline hallelujah to come into order with you praise god pastor johnny father we thank you the scripture says behold i put my quickly and my reward is with me. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we seek your face today. Amen. We seek your face for our children. Yes, Jesus. Lord, we know that there is power in our prayers. Amen. Because Amen. when we pray, according yes. to John 16, you are answering us yes. in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And yes, we Lord. proclaim the word of God. Our yes, we do. Over our great yes, grandchildren. Over our great grandchildren. Yes, Lord. Grandchildren. In the 
the name of Jesus. And Lord, we also pray for the children, even in our community right now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, all Ooh, the lives are weak glory. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our sons. Yes, we Lord. We pray for our daughters. Yes, in Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, touch them right Ooh, now. Right in now. the name of Jesus, touch them right Ooh, now. Glory to in God. Jesus name. Father, we lift up Darius right now in the name of Jesus. We lift up Ronnie, Rodney. We lift up Angela. We lift up Jessica yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes, we Jesus. lift up. We lift up the right Jesus. now in the name of Jesus. Yes, we lift up Jeremiah in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift Praise up all the daughters and the sons right oh, now. Yes, Lord. In that mention in the name of Jesus, Father, touch them right now with your hand of mercy, with your hand of grace. Thank you so much. Ooh. Ooh, glory. 
Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your glory, Lord. Thank you for your glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, go ahead, Betty Pierce. Go ahead, Betty Pierce, and pray. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. Thank you for your glory, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Woo, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. This anointing of glory, praise God, that God has sent, is breaking yokes. Woo, hallelujah. Destroying the work of the enemy, hallelujah, and setting you up. God is setting you up for more of his glory, hallelujah. Receive of the glory of God, hallelujah. As we wait upon the Lord, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. There's nothing like the presence of God, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to experience major breakthroughs? And are you ready to see miracles? Miracles flow in your life and in your ministry. Are you ready to see strongholds dissolved, chains broken? Are you ready to see the oppressed go free? Are you ready to see every yoke broken? Okay. We are in the fourth day of a 31-day fast. And fast, when you set aside your plate, when you push that plate away, hallelujah, and you get rid of that appetite, the strongest appetite that we have, hallelujah, the strongest desire, the strongest instinct, instinct that we have is to eat. But when you push that away, you are showing God, hallelujah. It is, fasting is a miracle. It's not only a miracle, it's a mystery of what God does and why he chooses this form, hallelujah, to bless us. But I'm going to tell you, fasting will unlock and block and bless in ways that nothing else on earth can. God has given us this gift, and it is the gift of fasting, hallelujah, that will unlock power and blessing in your lives. And it will bring supernatural breakthroughs like nothing else can, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. So you, do you have some appetites that you want to destroy? Appetite for pornography? appetites, hallelujah, for stuff that you know that you shouldn't be doing, appetite for cigarettes, for smoking, bondages to drugs and alcohol. These are all unclean appetites and bondages that have you yoked, hallelujah. And fasting can break every yoke. The word of God says it. Do you need a healing in your body? A, 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 a sickness that's been plaguing you, that you've been praying for, that you cannot just get get rid of, and it just stays there and stays there and stays there. Do you know that God has provided the miracle of healing to come forth through the fast? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, whatever you desire, whatever you want, Jesus said to ask for it. Hallelujah. And if you believe it, you can receive it. And fasting is showing God that you believe him more than you believe anything else, because this is the tool that he's given us to tear down strongholds that heretofore have not been able to come down. Even the disciples couldn't cast the demon out of a kid. Hallelujah. Even, even when they were sent by Jesus. And they came back to Jesus and said, Jesus, why couldn't we do it? Why couldn't we cast that devil out? And Jesus says, some goeth not out but by fasting and prayer. Hallelujah. So we are getting, those, getting down to the nitty gritty. Now those that don't want to go, those some that don't, will not go out but by fasting and prayer, we're calling them out. You hear what I'm saying? We are calling them out because we are fasting and praying and we're not putting up with it any longer. We are not putting up with diabetes any longer. We are not putting up with high blood pressure anymore, uh, any longer. We are not putting up with stupid allergies anymore. We are not putting up with COPD anymore. 
We are not putting up with these diseases that are racking our bodies. God said that we are healed. And we're going forth in this fast and pray for the miracle working power of God to work on our behalf, to move us out of the way so his glory can come more and more and more so that we can be delivered and set free. You hear what I'm saying? And walking in the power that we know that he has given us. We already know it's there. We know we got it. Jesus did it already. It's finished. And we're going to walk in it. We're going to walk in it today. You hear what I'm saying? We ain't waiting no more. <laughs> we're not putting up with the devil anymore. We're not petting, petting these diseases anymore. Praise God. We're not petting no unclean spirits anymore. We're not petting, you know, a lack of salvation in our family anymore. God promised us our whole household. And this fast, we're going after our whole household. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Oh, see, the devil done messed up now. He got, got us all mad and everything now. Messing with our kids now, okay? You're going to let go of my kid in this generation and for all the generations of my bloodline. You will not put your hands on any other member of my family. In the name of Jesus. We're claiming every one of them for Jesus Christ because they're already in and we're going to get them. We're going into this fast and we're grabbing what's ours. We're grabbing the word. We're grabbing the promises of God that are yay and amen. Every single last one of them. And we're taking them. Hallelujah. We're moving you back. You see, listen, say, you know, messed up now. Okay. Because the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Now you done made us get to the place where we're going to have to take what's ours by force from you. You cannot have it any longer. You cannot have the lives of our children any longer. You cannot have them. Witchcraft, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And I reverse every curse that has come against our bloodlines. Hallelujah. From way back and going on to the future, witchcraft, you have no place. And everything that you held up, okay, your emissaries held up from God's people through witchcraft, control, potion, all those potions you do, those spells you do, and everything that you've taken from God's people is going to be restored. Okay, 100%. Okay, 10 times over. Hallelujah. Because God is causing a transfer of wealth. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's going to be a transfer of wealth from the wicked to the righteous. And that's what we're praying right now. We not only want wealth in our, in our bank accounts, we want wealth in our bodies. We want wealth in our relationships. We want a wealth of relationship with God, hallelujah, and his glory. From now until eternity, God is causing us to have an eternal mindset, not just a mindset based on eating today, okay? All right, but although today is fine, you know, he gives us mercies and blessings every day we wake up, praise God. It's a blessing, but God is not only giving us an understanding of what today is all about. He's letting us see into eternity and what his plan is. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Right now, Father, I cover uh, every person on uh, the phone and every person in their family right now, every person on Facebook and every person in their family and their bloodline that's alive today and that's going to be alive going forward, right now we cover them in the blood of Jesus and we draw a bloodline around them. And Father, for all the unsaved ones, we're sending. Now, you know who the bloodlines are that are on this call. You know us, Father, and you know who we are. You have assigned us to this prayer time because you plan to work some miracles in our bloodline, okay? And so right now, we are calling forth those miracles of salvation in our bloodline. We are standing standing in the gap for our unsaved loved ones, hallelujah, to build up a foundation of your magnificence, to build up a foundation of your glory in their lives right now. Glory of God, come forth like never before. Save, heal, and deliver every single person that's represented on the call and on Facebook today. Save, heal, and deliver right now those unsaved loved ones. Send forth your angels of salvation. Send forth your angels of destruction to destroy every every demonic work that's around them that's keeping them down. Send forth your angels that relieve and deliver from oppression and bondage. Hallelujah. Set their minds free, Father. Let them have the mind of Christ as you have promised. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Family, come forth. Grandchildren, come forth. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As the glory of God is flowing from us. Hallelujah. From his throne room to us. And that glory is flowing out to our bloodline who will be repairers of the breach, who will build foundations for eternity. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We are building foundations for eternity. 
and every generation we will have uh, uh, our believers in Christ. The glory of God will flow through our bloodlines. Pastor Johnny, your bloodline. Hallelujah. Mother Williams, your bloodline. Trifene, your bloodline right now in the name of Jesus. I give glory to God for you, Trifene. Hallelujah. You're the one that started this whole thing, praise God, that God used to instigate all of this stuff. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And I rebuke every curse that has come against you and your family. And I reverse every curse in the name of Jesus. And I command the God mindset to come forth. Hallelujah. In you and in your children and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren and your great great grandchildren grandchildren to come in the name of Jesus hallelujah we command the blessing hallelujah because God said that we can do it hallelujah you said speak those things that be not as though they are hallelujah Trifene you are driving you hear what I'm saying you driving girl hallelujah in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 Trifene your children hallelujah are walking in the glory of God because they know in whom they believe your grandchildren are walking in the glory of God because they know in whom they believe hallelujah they don't believe in the power of witchcraft they believe in the power of God Jehovah God the one true God hallelujah oh hallelujah the creator of all that's who they believe in hallelujah oh hallelujah 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 mother Williams your body is healed your body is healed your body is healed in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Betty praise God you are healed in the name of Jesus you are healed hallelujah and your household hallelujah in the name of Jesus your children hallelujah will call upon the name of the Lord and they call upon the name of the Lord in love your grandchildren knowing whom they believe they call upon the Lord and they call upon the name of the Lord in love and I'm not talking about some of them I'm talking about all souls that God has given us all souls that have come forth from us bear the glory of God. Walk in the glory of God. Talk the glory of God. Our believers in Jesus Christ, all that have come from us. That's, isn't that what it says in the scripture? All that be of you. All. It didn't say some of them. It didn't say uh, five out of ten. It said all that be of you shall build the waste places. Hallelujah. All. Hallelujah. Your whole bloodline right now is carrying God's glory because of you. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah. And, and you know, so those of you who only have one child or one grandchild, you got to remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God gave the promise to Abraham, hallelujah, but it was two generations down or three generations yeah. down. You know, Abraham only had one. His one had two. Okay, but one of those two had 12 <laughs> and plus. So we're not just praying for this generation right here now. We're praying for all of our generations. If you look at Abraham's generation, look at where they are today. God promised Abraham that his generation, that what came out of him, you would not be able to count. Would be like the sand on the shore, the sand grains, okay? Hallelujah, hallelujah. You don't even know all of what you're praying for right now as you're praying for your generations and the thousands and thousands of people that you're praying for that come in your bloodline. Hallelujah. So God wants to through this fast give you a view of eternity he wants you to see eternity like you've never seen it before and that is the 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 um what i would say the the the, the icing on the cake the fasting is awesome the glory is awesome the blessings are awesome from fasting but what is coming out of this is god has given you a a, a eternal view a greater eternal view that you have not had before of what you're doing right now and who you are right now and how you fit into his scheme of things, how you fit into his plan for eternity. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So remember, uh, we're in the fourth day of our fast, and the fast is a Daniel's fast, a modified Daniel fast. We're drinking water. We're not eating any dairy, no meat, no wheat, no sweets, okay? We're just eating vegetables and uh, fruit, if you can join us. If you can join in, maybe not today, we're doing it for 31 days, but uh, get in this. Uh, Pastor Johnny is called to fast for the whole week for his, his church. We're all praying and fasting together, praise God. But it's the whole month, okay? You may not be able to do 31 days. You may be able to do 10 days. You may be able to do three days. Even if you can get in there for one day, come on, get in on this glory. Get in on this promise that God has made for us. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, the glory of God. 
Oh, hallelujah. God's glory. And it's all about you in this fast. It's a personal fast. God is straightening out your life, healing your body, delivering you, breaking every yoke and chain. Hallelujah. And then he's sending forth his anointing to your generations. Oh, isn't that awesome? <laughs> Praise God. That's pretty awesome to me. So remember, uh, we're this week, we're fasting one meal. We're not eating anything for breakfast, and then we're having fruit and vegetables for lunch, fruit and vegetables for dinner, and our beverage is water. Okay? Uh, next week, Saturday, we will start uh, fasting two meals a day. So we won't have breakfast and we won't have lunch, but we'll have a dinner meal. Hallelujah. And that dinner meal should be before 6 o'clock, okay? Uh, no later than 7 for sure. One meal a day. Okay, starting next Saturday, okay? And then we're going to be praying for breakfast. We're going to pray the breakfast hour when we would have eaten. And then we're going to pray uh, the lunch hour. Now, some of you are having issues and you haven't been healed yet. You know, you know you need to have food and stuff like that. And I'm not telling you to do this fast, you know, um, outside of what your doctor has told you to do, okay? Now, if you can't fast two meals, okay, a day, then I understand because some people have to eat every few hours. But when you eat... Don't eat a piece of fruit, some grapes, okay, some watermelon, you know, some cantaloupe, an apple, a banana, and keep you going until you can have that meal, okay? So bless the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, I feel God's glory on this because the next fast we do in January is going to be an absolute fast, hallelujah, because you will have been healed, hallelujah, <laughs> from all of those sicknesses that cause you to have to eat all the time. Hallelujah. So God is healing you in this fast. Hallelujah. He's delivering you, healing your family, and delivering your family. Oh my God. God is so good. His glory is just so wonderful. It's so wonderful. I just can't tell you how great I feel about the glory of God. Hallelujah. And all that he's establishing in us and doing through us. These are new realms of glory that are coming to us. Hallelujah. God is sending that million dollar seed. Pastor Johnny was praying for that money. You continue put that money on your list. And in this fast, you, you call those things that be not as though they are money come. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on those bills and say, bills, you're paid. You know, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Call on God for that supernatural million dollar seed. Call on God for that supernatural debt cancellation. Hallelujah. Praise God and call on God for the supernatural weight loss. God is even doing supernatural weight loss during this, this fast and during this season. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us, Jeremiah Gibson. Praise God. You didn't hear it, but Pastor Johnny was just praying for you a while back. So bless the, bless the Lord, man of God. Thank you for uh, joining in. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Jeremiah, you're not married yet. But you start praying right now. We're praying for our generations. You start praying for your wife and for your children and for your grandchildren and for your great-grandchildren. Start praying for your generations even now in the name of Jesus. And if anyone is not married or don't have children now, it doesn't mean that you can't start praying for your generations even now. Hallelujah. Praise God. God wants to give you an eternal view, a view of eternity and the part that you're playing in his plan in eternity right now. So bless the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. You remember your list. Okay. Your list. Okay. Well, I want to see it in your notebook. Okay. Your list of your family members. Hallelujah. Starting from you going down your bloodline. Okay. All the names. Hallelujah. You're praying for them every day. Okay. We're going to push. You hear what I'm saying? We're pushing and push is P pray you until S something H happens. Push, pray, keep praying until something happens. That's what the fast is all about. You fast and you pray. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm excited. You know, whenever the glory gets to the place where it is right now, I never want to leave the glory. I never want to get out, out of the glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I just want God to move his glory through you to, to change everything in your life that needs to be changed. Hallelujah. And so that glory is flowing right now for healing. That glory right now is flowing right now for deliverance. It's a healing, deliverance, anointing in the glory today. Hallelujah. Why don't you reach up and grab uh, the portion of the glory that you need to, uh, to change your body, to change, you know, ooh, hallelujah. There it is. It's keep coming. It's coming in waves. It's just coming in waves. Come on, reach out 
and grab it. It's not just for the people who are present now, although that's great, but there are people who are going to be watching and listening later on on YouTube and later on on Facebook, praise God, hallelujah, who can't be on live right now because they're working or doing other things. But I want the, you to understand that there's a, a wave of glory that keeps coming. There's a wave of glory. And if you look at uh, one of the other, uh, when I first uh, announced that we were going to do a fast, and I think it was on Saturday, the Saturday morning live, praise God. You can actually see angels on the video. You can see the angels of the Lord just dancing and prancing around. Hallelujah. This is a God-ordained fast. God has ordained it for uh, his glory to come up, uh, to rise more in you. Hallelujah. Oh, and everything that the glory brings with it. Bless the Lord. Okay, so Pastor Johnny, I think, uh, oh, hallelujah. I keep trying to leave, but the glory just keeps, it keeps coming in waves. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just worship God and receive these waves. And as these waves are coming, let's send them out to our family members. Let's send this wave out to Kyle. I send this wave out to Darius. I send this wave out, hallelujah, to our children and to our grandchildren, to Connor and to Tiffany. Hallelujah. Name, go ahead, call out the names of your uh, children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. Just go ahead, call them out right now in the name of Jesus. It's Tiffany and Kyle. And Jeremiah, hallelujah. Come on, I want to hear those names, hallelujah. The, this glory, now that was an assignment from the Holy Ghost. I wasn't just saying that to be saying that. And when God gives you a direction, it, it's, it's not me, it's God giving you a direction. There's a wave of the Holy Ghost that's coming right now. Oh, hallelujah. And that wave is covering your, your loved ones as you call out their names. Call out their names in truth and in love. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Tiffany and Kyle. Jeremiah. Uh, Kana, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, Brittany and Cynthia, Cassie, hallelujah, Milan and True, hallelujah, praise God, Canaan and Noah, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Then I have Aaliyah and Kayla, Rue and Suna, oh, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And there's a son, a grandson that I have never met, and he's out there, and he doesn't know who we are, or where we are. I don't think, but I'm praying every day for my grandson, hallelujah, that I have never met. I don't even know his name, but he's out there and I'm drawing God. I've been praying for his salvation and for the salvation of his children uh, as well. And I'm covering him because he is of my bloodline and I am not forgetting him in the name of Jesus. I will never forget him as the, the grandson that God has given me that we don't know, but save him, Father. Fill him with the Holy Spirit if he isn't already saved and bless his children. So I'm sending the waves of your glory over my bloodline right now. Hallelujah. Oh, it's flowing out. Come on, send it out. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody got something to say? Is that you, Trifle? Praise God. Praise God. Prophetess. Yes. I don't mean to butt in, but I feel in the spirit that somebody, it's a, it's a female, it's like a sister to somebody on the line mm -hmm. that we need to really lift up this morning. Okay. There's a sister, like a, a like a brother, sister, I mean a sibling, like uh -huh. a sister. Mm -hmm. we, need to lift, we need to lift them up right now. Okay, well, I, everybody... Okay, we have... Okay, we have, I have okay, so I have two you. sisters, Trifene has Margaret... I have Sue and Barbara. Uh, anybody else with sisters? Betty and Leonard. Betty. Okay. Woo. I don't have a sister. I don't have a sister, but just, just my grandchildren, children. Okay. I don't have. I'm the all, all of my sisters are deceased. I see. Okay. I, I don't have any sisters. All right. So we got the Sue. One, I have a god. I the one just my god. My god sister. I have a god sister. Okay. Well, put her name out there. Praise Jesus God. Christ. Louisa, Louisa, Louisa Stubblefield. Okay, praise God. Pray, Daddy, pray, uh, man, pray for Carolyn. Yeah, well, I got her name on my my daughter Carolyn. Yes, Lord, my daughter Carolyn, please pray for her, please. Okay, now remember, now we want to obey what God is saying. The man of God said, "A sister." Okay, so we're talking about siblings. We're praying for we're praying for our daughters and for our children, but right now the man of God, God gave a word of knowledge and it's specifically for sisters at this time. So let's obey let's obey the spirit of the Lord, okay? So Pastor Johnny, uh thank you so much for joining joining us, Maddie. Praise God. So 
Go ahead, uh, Pastor Johnny. The anointing is on you. God reveals it to you. What he reveals, he heals. So why don't you go ahead and pray for these women. Praise God, these sisters. And, and, and that's a sister we need to lift up because I don't have any sisters. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have, have any sisters in the Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we look at the sibling up right now in Jesus' name. Lord, Lord, her name, you know, where they are, you know. Lord, I give us a lack of disturbance in their mind in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit that would disturb their mind. Settle them down, Lord, and minister to their needs. Yes, Lord, the needs have really yes, upset Lord. this person in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. Lord, my Lord, provide. For them, yes, Lord. For them, Ooh, glory. For them, Lord, and bring them closer yes, to Lord. the throne. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord. Closer to the sibling that is on the body. Yes, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. That is on the line. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Thank Jesus, you, Jesus, we pray for this sibling, Thank you, Jesus. this female sibling, in the name of Jesus. Praise yes, God. Lord. Lift them up. Lift them Hallelujah. up. Hallelujah. Lift them up. Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We lift up my sister, Sue and Barbara. We lift up Trifene, sister Margaret. Hallelujah, praise God. We lift up Jeremiah's sister, Tiffany, who happens to be my daughter, but it is Jeremiah's sister. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Jeremiah is my son, and he's on. he joined with us on Facebook. So praise God, sisters. Hallelujah. Okay, so on your prayer time today, people, add your, in your bloodline, your sisters that are alive. That was a, a, a direct word, a word of knowledge, through the gift of the word of knowledge, through the man of God. Add your sisters to your prayer list today as you are praying. Hallelujah for your bloodline. Add them to uh, your family uh, list here. Remember, uh, this is an eternal prayer. We're praying for our bloodlines for today and forever, okay? Hallelujah. Praise God. But God is going to manifest his glory like never before today. Hallelujah. Now, we know that fasting isn't for everyone. Hallelujah. It's not necessary for everyone, but okay. I, I looked in the scriptures and I see that it is necessary. So I'm just going to go with what the scriptures say. Okay. Don't let anyone teach you and yeah. tell you that fasting is not for today. Jesus fasted. All the early church fathers fasted. All the, you know, in every book of the Bible, just about, there was a fast that was called the solemn fast. So I'm going with what the word of God, the, the pattern uh, that the word of God has set for us in fasting. Praise God. Uh, maybe some people have a silver spoon in their mouth and everything just goes well for them in their life. Praise God. And so they don't need this kind of fast. They don't need to be delivered. They don't need to be set free. They got it going, you know, all. So, hey, praise God. God has blessed you to that degree. But there are some of us who still need, hallelujah, to seek yeah. God, hallelujah, <laughs> praise God, for those hallelujah. things that be not as though they are. So we're speaking those things that be not in our lives as though they are, hallelujah. Oh, bless God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. I think that we are done today, and we thank all of you for being on uh, in this glory realm anointing. Oh, praise God. God yeah. is doing new things in the glory realm, and, I, and, and you know, this yeah. is just awesome. Oh, thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have our phone line uh, and as well as we have uh, people live on Facebook with us today that everyone that's joined us in this, uh, thank you so much. It is a fast. It is a 31-day fast for those of you who have joined late. Uh, we, we're in the fourth day of a 31-day fast. Hallelujah. And God has just brought so many blessings already. I just want to let you know that I just I lost seven pounds since Saturday. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> And so my prayer now is, Lord, when this fast is over, you know, I'm asking for a miracle. I want that weight to stay off. I don't want it to come back. You know, sometimes when you fast, you know, you go back and then you eat everything after the fast is over that you would have ate when you were on the fast, okay? And so you kind of blow up. But we don't want that to happen this time, Pastor Stephen West, okay? We want, hallelujah, praise God, uh, the fast to continue, for it to be a perpetual fast, for the perpetual glory of God to come forth in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So uh, the fast is a Daniel's fast, no wheat, no meat, no sweets, and no dairy, all right? You're drinking water, you're eating vegetables and fruit. And um, I think probably tomorrow I'll share some more recipes. I already gave the collard greens and the sweet potatoes. There's so many different things that you can do uh, with the vegetables to be creative, hallelujah. And uh, it's awesome, it's just awesome. I feel great, I just feel wonderful. Hallelujah. I mean, in the fourth day of this fast, hallelujah, I, I just have more energy. I'm more excited, as you can see. <laughs> Praise, God. 
Praise God. If I can get more excited. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just love the joy of the Lord. So join us in the fast. Uh, House of Blessings. Pastor Johnny uh, McLean is the pastor. He's on with us today and he's called a fast for House of Blessings as well. And so, uh, Pastor Johnny, uh, I'm just going to ask you real quick to just say quickly what, or you don't have to be quick, but just say what, you know, the fast that you've called for House of Blessing and how God has has uh, uh, pricked it upon your heart or put it upon your heart uh, to fast as well. Are you there? Hello? He must have had to get off the phone. Okay. So we're going to pray right now. Thank you all for joining us. Hallelujah. God bless you. And go forth and be blessed in this fast. Uh, let the peace of God be with you and you be strengthened. And we want to hear the testimonies of the great things that God uh, is doing and will do through this time of setting aside our food. Remember, this week is one meal we're fasting. That's breakfast. Next Saturday, we start on two meals, okay? And then the week after that, we'll go back to one meal. And then in the last week, we'll do two, two meals again, okay? Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise God. God bless you too. Thank you so much for joining us, Trifine, Betty, Jeremiah, everyone who joined us on Facebook as well. Bye-bye now.